Fawn, if you are getting this video, you are going to be one of the Toffee Tufts in Candytown Superhero Edition Part 2. Um, you'll want to know the storyline of how all this came to be. There is a evil uh, villain named the Diabolical Jawbreaker who has gathered together a large group of um, people that are helping him take over um, the, the candy town area. And they together have uh, stolen all of the candy from candy town. And uh, those people that have helped him are called Toffee Tufts. So your boss is the Diabolical Jawbreaker and you along with other Toffee Tufts uh, are working together to steal all of the candy in Candy Town, and the long-range plan is probably to steal all of the candy in the world. But it started in Candy Town, and that's where it's going to stop, uh, because we're inviting all the kids to come dressed as superheroes to take back the candy that was stolen and restore order to Candy Town. Uh, now, what is your job as a Toffee Tough? First of all, let's talk about what you look like. You are going to be one of these guys or gals. I think a lot of the Toffee Tufts are actually going to be ladies, but you will be provided with the shirt, the the overalls, um, and I believe the hat. Uh, what I'd like you to do is wear some black shoes to go. Uh, if you have boots, that's great. If you don't have boots, let's just go with black shoes. And this is going to be your costume, and you are officially a Toffee Tuff. Um, what we want you to do is we want you to sell your character. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about who your character is. You are not, um, at your core, a evil person. You are basically just carrying out the orders that your your master, the Diabolical Jawbreaker, has. So you should be lighthearted, fun-loving. Um, I kind of picture you being um, kind of like the minions in Despicable Me. You're, you're kind of lighthearted, you're fun, you're easy to approach, you're not scary at all. Um, but you are doing what your your master, the Diabolical the Jawbreaker, tells you to do. It's very important that you sell your character, but you do it in a way that is not scary, that's not intimidating, that's not violent. You should be very approachable, uh, but at the same time, you are carrying out the vision of your master, the Diabolical Jawbreaker. You want to focus on positive elements. You are um, a, a very positive person. You believe that the Diabolical Jawbreaker is a brilliant person and you think he's great and you talk very highly of him. At the same time, you want to speak well of the, uh, the superheroes that you're going to be taking through, the kids uh, that are going through Candytown. So you want to encourage them, but you also want to have a little bit of an angle of, I bet you won't be able to beat my master because he's so wonderful. I bet you don't have those kind of superpowers. Kind of in a, a lighthearted, teasing kind of way, but never should you say anything negative like, you can't do it, you're, you're not good at this, you're not a good superhero. You always want to be very, very positive um, while trying to remain loyal to the jawbreaker, but many times you actually give in to that loyalty and kind of say things like, wow, you're really good, you might even be better than my boss. And then you catch yourself because um, you don't want to be disloyal to your boss. So understand what your character is like. You're always very positive. You're always very happy. You say very encouraging things, but at the same time, you're still trying your best to carry out the mission of the Diabolical Jawbreaker. You should be silly. Um, you should also be very clean. Never should you say anything inappropriate uh, or anything that has violent tendencies. But when you're silly, you cannot be weird. Um, I think a lot of you have, have been characters in Kid Zone before, so you understand this dynamic. You don't want to be so weird that you're, um, the kids are like not so sure about you. You want to be a, a good communicator. You want to make them feel welcome. You want to make them feel encouraged. Um, don't take your character into some really weird place. Uh, you, you want to make sure that they feel comfortable with you. Okay, so let's talk about your actual communication. Um, when you're talking to kids, you need to be very clear and concise. Here's what I mean by that. Let's start with clear. Your words need to be very, very clearly understood. Um, you don't want to have this weird accent that makes it hard to, to understand you. There's probably no need to have an accent. Um, you, you want to talk in your normal voice in a way that's easy to understand. And you also want to be concise. You want to be to the point. Uh, you don't want to go off on weird tangents or bunny trails. Um, you just want to be very clear because one of the things we have to do is get people through quickly. So clear and concise. Uh, you primarily want to stick to the script. Uh, we've written scripts for each one of the six games. You're going to take your 
um, your kids through each one of those games and activities, uh, and there's a good script to follow throughout the entire time. In the middle of games, you may have to wait for the group in front of you. That's when you can do a little bit of ad lib and get to know the kids and make it really fun. Uh, so make sure your communication is clear and concise. You stick to the script for the games, and you can ad lib between the games. Now, your job is going to be to take uh, three to four kids through the entire experience at a time. So basically, you'll meet them at the very beginning of Candy Town, and you will host them at game number one, game number two, game number three, four, five, and six. And what you want to do is you want to tie everything together um, and make it a really good positive experience with a solid storyline. In the past, when we've done Candy Town, we had six different isolated events that didn't really link. This year, I think we're really making some good improvements, and it's primarily hinging on your ability to make a connection with kids and continue to stay with them throughout the entire experience and tie the storyline together. So the script is done in a way uh, that, that it creates this storyline where you are walking kids through this entire experience. Rather than six different events, it's one long storyline that comes to completion at the very end. Uh, so you, you keep that all together. You're actually the one that is going to make this a very positive experience and make kids feel connected um, throughout the, the time in Candytown. You want to keep it moving because there's going to be groups behind you, and we're going to have to take hundreds of kids through Candytown, um, and we want to make sure that we move them quickly. Don't, don't make it feel rushed, but at the same time, don't take a lot of time. you got to keep things moving, make sure they have a good time, but move through everything very, very quickly, and you're the one that's going to make it fun. Um, if the kids feel connected with you and you make it a really fun experience, you are going to make Candy Town a positive thing for each one of the kids. So looking forward to having each one of you in Candy Town. I think this is going to be an enormous uh, upgrade over previous Candy Towns, which were also great. Uh, but I'm excited about having the Toffee Tufts hosting these kids and giving them a really good, high-quality experience all the way through. Um, and I think you're going to be one of the keys to making that happen. Uh, we're going to give you some additional information about each game and what you need to do and all the scripts. Uh, but this, this is, video is designed to just give you the overview of what your character looks like, what your primary job is, and how you can make this a very successful Candytown. Appreciate you guys. Looking forward to a great weekend when we have Candytown. Thank you.